Ohio. In the year 2018, 19,879 children were reported missing in the United States. And about 30 or 93% of those missing children were aged 13 to 17. At this time, or during this year, my friend Shelby and I, we um, were going Black Friday shopping. We had gone to the Altoona Mall, um, Outlet Mall. It had just opened a month prior, so we were very excited to um, look around and see the kind of stores that they had. Um, and then we shopped there for a few hours and met up with her mom at Valley West Mall um, for a lunch and just to shop around. Um, before we decided to call it quits, we decided to go to Target that is on Valley West Drive in West Moines. Um, we went there partially just because we know that neither one of us would leave empty handed because it's Target. Um, and she also wanted earbuds for school. Um, so we m make our way, we walk around the store and make our way to the electronics section and she takes out a pair of earbuds. Those earbuds were $9.99 and she had a $10 gift card. So she asked me if I could cover the tax. I was fine with doing that. So I was looking for a quarter. About this time, this gentleman approaches us from behind and he asks if we needed money. And I politely declined and was like, thank you, but you know, I can help her, we figured it out. And he pushes and he asks, or he says, if you need money, you can meet me outside in five minutes and I will have that money for you. Again, we decline and my friend grabs me by, by my sweatshirt sleeve and drags me away and we just book it for the front. She then tells me, or thinks it's an appropriate time to tell me that this guy had been following us around the store the entire time. And um, I tell her, I'm like, you know, that was just such a weird conversation. We should probably talk to somebody. So we talked to the manager and he took us over to the seating area that is outside of the Starbucks. And um, we kind of described him, he sat with us and they said that they would keep a lookout for him just in case any, like, they find him. And um, Shelby had called her mom and Shelby's mom came to pick us up and to drive us to her car because we were parked really far out because of course it was Black Friday, so everybody's shopping. And um, so we get into the, her mom's car and he followed, the manager had followed us outside to make sure we got inside of the car. And um, so I'll always remember how kind he was and how he treated us. Um, and so then her mom drives us to, to her car and we book it to her car, get in, lock the doors, and it just felt like we could breathe. Not fully because we were still in the vicinity of Target, but um, we were shaking. I was kind of, I was a whole mess. I was crying a little and shaking and like panicking. And um, then we start, we leave. We start heading home and we were sitting in silence like for half of the car drive. And then Shelby's mom calls me and she's like, I know you guys are sitting there in silence, turn on the radio. How does she know that? We'll never know. Maybe it's just mom's instinct, but she told us to turn it on. So we did and we got lost in the music and it did help to calm us down. I get home, talk to my parents about it and I tell them, and of course I had to give them a haul of everything that I bought, but they told me that they were really happy that I was there in their presence and um, that they were proud that I was able to ask for help. Um, we Shelby and I had talked later that night and we both decided that we were never gonna go back to that Target and I still have not returned to that Target. And um, we, we both concluded that if we had met him outside of the building that we would have met, been met with him and other people because he was not threatening to us because he was about our height and there's two of us and one of him. So we knew that if it were that situation and we were gonna be kidnapped that there was going to be another person with him. And we also believed that we probably would have been put into human trafficking because we were 15 and 16. And um, I will always tell people that you need to be so careful about your surroundings, especially if you are a woman, you are a child, 
for you, or you're with a child or both, because you never know who will be lurking behind you.